Hi, in this video, I will explain what abracadabra money is in an easy to understand way. Also, I'll go over how I borrowed money with the W memo token, how the user interface works, how to repay a loan, and also 9-9-ing. If you don't know what 9-9-ing is, don't worry, I'll explain it in detail, but in short, it's a way to leverage to increase the interest rate return on certain tokens. Let's get started. What is Abracadabra Money? Quoted from the documentation, Abracadabra Money is a lending platform that uses interest-bearing tokens as collateral to borrow a USD-pegged stablecoin, Magic Internet Money or MIM, that can be used as any other traditional stablecoin. So what does this mean? Let's break it down. A lending platform is a place to borrow money. It's as simple as that. In DeFi, Interest-bearing tokens are tokens that act like a receipt or a voucher that proves ownership to some assets that generate passive income that a person has lent out. For example, I deposit $100 worth of USDC into a Yearn Finance Vault and receive back about 100 YV USDC tokens. The Yearn Vault token or YV USDC is the interest-bearing token and proof that I have loaned out my $100 worth of USDC. It is also proof that I'm able to earn interest on the deposited funds. Prior to Abracadabra, the problem with holding the YV USDC token is that my funds are locked up in the Yearn Finance Vault and I can't access my deposited USDC to do something else without withdrawing it from the vault. Abracadabra has allowed users to offer up their interest-bearing tokens and other assets to be used as collateral to borrow money. Collateral is something of value offered to Abracadabra if the borrower fails to pay back the loan. Continuing with my example, I would deposit my YV USDC token into Abracadabra as collateral and based on the value of the token, I can borrow some amount of the MIM stablecoin, which for all intents and purposes, one MIM is equal to $1. So the takeaway is that Abracadabra Money is a platform for borrowing money using passive income tokens as collateral. If my collateral loses a certain amount of value, Abracadabra will automatically sell my collateral to pay back the loan. This is called liquidation. Abracadabra has included other tokens to be used as collateral so that people can borrow with Shiba, Cake, Binance Coin, Avalanche Token, Phantom, and more. How does this borrowing work? First, to borrow money, I need assets to offer for collateral and somewhere to hold those assets. Abracadabra doesn't support every coin and token, so I'll have to see on the website what can be used as collateral. Here, I'll just use the wrapped memo token as an example. WMEMO is an interest-bearing token of the Time Wonderland protocol. The wallet I'm using to hold WMEMO and other assets is the MetaMask wallet. Looking at the available components to borrow on the Avalanche network, I can supply AVAX, some Trader Joe LP tokens, Wrapped Memo, and XJO tokens. The total MIM borrowed column shows how much MIM has been borrowed by people. The MIMs left to borrow column shows how much MIM is left to borrow for that collateral type. If the amount in this column is zero, I'll have to wait until someone pays back their loan to borrow more MIM. I can keep refreshing the page to see if the number goes up. The interest column tells me how much interest is charged to me per year. For example, if I borrowed $100 worth of MIM, a 5% interest will charge me $5 in MIM for the year. The liquidation fee column tells me how much I will be charged if my collateral needs to be sold to repay the loan. If I click the W memo row, Abracadabra brings me to the borrow page where it asks me to deposit W memo as collateral to borrow MIM. I can input the amount of W memo I want to use as collateral and specify the percentage of collateral I want to receive as MIM. Selecting 25% will give me about $772 worth of MIM. The expected liquidation price is what the price of the W memo token must fall to for the protocol to sell my W memo tokens to cover the loan. I don't want this to happen because then I would lose my W memo tokens. Notice that I can't borrow more than the value of the collateral. This means if I borrow funds, my loan is over collateralized or the value of my collateral at the time of borrowing is more than how much I borrowed. The lower the percentage I borrow, the safer the loan is. Clicking on the add collateral and borrow button will execute a smart contract to deposit my collateral from my MetaMask in the form of W memo tokens. Right now, there isn't enough MIM to borrow 25%, so I'm choosing to borrow a small amount for this video. I will receive $5 worth of MIM as a result, and it will be transferred to my MetaMask wallet. I can now do whatever I want with the MIM. So how do I manage a loan? There's a section called My Open Position that tells me all the information about my loan, my collateral, my APY, and other important information to tell me about the health of my loan. The collateral deposited is the amount of WMEMO I'm borrowing against. 
The collateral value is the market value in USD of my W memo. The position APY is the interest rate I'm earning on my wrapped memo. The MIM borrowed is how much I borrowed. I borrowed only $5 worth of MIM, but here it says that I borrowed $5.05. This is because there is a 1% borrow fee that gets charged to me every time that I borrow. And this just happens to be 5 cents. Most importantly is probably the liquidation price, which is the price if my W memo drops to, that will cause Abracadabra to sell my collateral to repay the loan. Finally, there is the MIM available left for me to borrow given my collateral amount and value. If I'm close to liquidation, I can choose to add collateral by depositing more W memo or repay some or all of the loan using MIM to prevent liquidation. I don't ever want to inadvertently remove any collateral without repaying any of the MIM loan. This would make the loan more risky, causing the liquidation price to increase, and I could risk my collateral being liquidated. Here I'm just going to show you how I repaid my loan of 5 MIM. I click repay and select the max amount of MIM to repay. Since I want to keep my collateral deposited to maybe borrow more later, I'm going to set this remove collateral field to zero. I click repay, approve the transaction on MetaMask and confirm the transaction to repay the loan. Be aware that I need to have enough AVAX in my MetaMask to pay for the transaction fees. Once I see my MIM balance in my MetaMask wallet update, I can refresh the page on Abracadabra to see that I no longer owe any more MIM. The last thing I'll talk about is what is 9-9-ing and looping and how it's done on Abracadabra. Like I said before, 9-9-ing is a method used to increase the interest earned from interest-bearing tokens by using leverage. This can be very risky as with anything to do with borrowing crypto. How this works is best explained with an example. As shown here, I know that I can deposit my W memo on Abracadabra to get MIM. What I can do with the MIM is buy time tokens on Trader Joe, then stake it on Wonderland to get more W memo, and then once again use it to deposit on Abracadabra to get more MIM. This process can be repeated a certain amount of times before I run out of ability to borrow any more MIM. The process of leveraging over and over again is called looping, and it can double my earned APY rate without having to add any more of my own funds. The trade-off is that it is riskier and requires more work to monitor the position. When this change leverage option is selected, Abracadabra is automating this entire 9-9-ing and looping process in one transaction. They call this entering a leveraged yielding position. Using the slider here, I can make my position riskier by moving it to the right, increasing my leverage, and therefore increasing my earned APY interest. Or I can make it safer by moving the slider to the left. I can make it even more safe by updating the initial amount of MIM to borrow in the borrow MIM field. When using this option, I won't be receiving any MIM at all. I will just be increasing my W memo position in a leveraged way, giving me an increased APY interest rate. It's very important to realize that if I get liquidated using the strategy, I end up with nothing, whereas if I just borrow regularly without the change leverage option, I still have the MIM that I borrowed. I just no longer have my collateral. Here, I'm going to show how I went through with the 9-9-ing and looping method. I selected change leverage and clicked that I understand I'm using leverage and then input the amount of MIM I want to leverage. I'm not adding any collateral because I already have some deposited, but if I didn't have any deposited, I'll have to add the collateral here. Since MIM is in high demand with W memo as collateral, I can only leverage like 30 MIM right now. The MIM supply is constantly being replenished, so I have to always check back. Since I'm only using a small amount of MIM, I want to leverage as much as I can, moving the slider to the right. Then I click borrow. MetaMask pops up for me to approve and confirm the transaction. Once everything has gone through, I can refresh the page to see my leveraged yielding position with my increased APY interest rate. And that's it for Abracadabra money, borrowing with collateral, 9-9-ing, and looping with a single click. I just want to reiterate that using leverage is very risky and that none of this is financial advice. Let me know if you'll be doing this in the comments below. As always, stay safe and thanks for watching.